Would you like to know how the world's top stage actors became the best at their profession? Join me as we uncover and explain the top three tips they learned to become highly sought after on stage and screen. Let's begin with David Oyelowo, as he emphasises the importance of service. For me, our job as artists is to serve the story, serve the director and serve the fellow actors. And if you do that, by osmosis, you're serving yourself because you'll get the best out of yourself. To understand this quote, think of a sports team working together to win a game. If each player is only focused on their own stats, trying to score the most points or make the flashiest plays, the team falls apart and they're less likely to win. But when every player works together, passing the ball, defending and supporting each other, the team becomes stronger and each player performs better as a result. In acting, you're also part of a team. Your game is the story you're telling, and your close teammates are the director and fellow actors. If you focus only on making yourself look good, or standing out, the story suffers, and your performance might appear disconnected. But, when you concentrate on supporting the story, following the director's vision and working closely with your fellow actors, you create a more cohesive and powerful performance. By dedicating yourself to the team effort, serving the story, the director and your fellow actors, you'll find that you naturally bring out the best in your own performance. Just like in sports, when the team succeeds, you succeed too. The collective effort brings everyone up, including you, allowing you to reach new heights in your craft. Now let's follow that with a wonderful quote from the great Sanford Meisner, which captures the importance of behaviour. An ounce of behaviour is worth a pound of words. Picture your performance as a dynamic canvas. Sometimes a simple gesture or reaction speaks louder than a hundred words. Imagine you're watching a silent film. The characters can't speak, so they have to communicate everything through their actions and expressions. Despite the lack of dialogue, you can still feel the emotions, understand the story and connect with the characters. That's the power of behaviour. It transcends words. In your performance, think of your body as a painter's brush and the stage or screen as your canvas. Words are important, but they're just one part of the picture. Sometimes a single look, a subtle gesture or a change in posture can convey more than an entire monologue. For example, a slight clench of the fist can reveal anger or a lingering glance can show deep affection. These nonverbal cues are often more powerful because they come from a deeper place from the heart of the character. So, as you prepare for your role, don't just focus on what your character says. Consider how they move, how they react, how they express their thoughts and feelings without words. By treating your performance like a dynamic canvas, you'll discover that sometimes the most powerful moments are the ones where you say nothing at all, letting your behaviour speak volumes. However, being in full view of the audience and saying nothing is hard, as it leaves the actor open and vulnerable on stage. So now, Adam Driver highlights the courage it takes to be there, act without words, and embrace the risk of failure. Acting is really about having the courage to fail in front of people. So imagine you're learning to ride a bike for the first time. At first, you're afraid of falling, so you might ride cautiously, never really picking up speed or feeling the thrill of the ride. But as long as you're afraid of falling, you'll never fully enjoy the experience or discover how fast and free you can really go. It's only when you accept that falling is part of the process that you start to ride with confidence and eventually those falls become fewer as you grow stronger and more skilled. In acting, the stage or screen is your bike. If you're always playing it safe, worried about making mistakes, you'll hold back and your performance may come across as flat or uninspired. But when you embrace the possibility of failure, when you're willing to take risks, make bold choices and let your true emotions show, you open yourself up to new levels of creativity and authenticity. Acting isn't about being perfect, it's about being real. And being real means sometimes you'll stumble, but those moments of vulnerability are what makes your performance relatable and compelling. So have the courage to fall, knowing that each fall is an opportunity to learn, grow and ultimately succeed in creating something truly memorable. So remember that your best performances happen when you work as a team player, not a prima donna. 
You should always be tuned into the script, expressing your emotions at all times, particularly when you are silent. And failure is part of the journey, but it doesn't define you. What's important is responding by putting it behind you and remaining vulnerable, honest and real. For as any established actor will tell you, that's how you build a successful and fulfilling career as an actor. Now, if you enjoyed this content, please press the subscribe button and check out Theatre Unwrapped for more community theatre videos.